relatively uncommon. Uh, studies haven't been done to see how uh, prevalent they really are, but uh, from best estimates, a handful of people in a thousand. Overall, if you had to give it a percentage, it's a lot less than one percent. We follow a lot of people that have some slight enlargement of the aorta, but the, the necessity to have a procedure done for an aneurysm is, is very uncommon. Same risk factors for aneurysm are those for other cardiovascular disease, so that would be high blood pressure, smoking, high cholesterol, and there are rare cases of genetic syndromes that predispose people to aneurysms too. Decide whether or not to fix an aneurysm with stents primarily is uh, one of two things. Either it's causing symptoms or it's at the size where it's in danger of bursting. And there's a number of complicated things that go into that decision and whether or not we can use a stent and that depends on where the aneurysm is in the body. But a, a lot of these descending aneurysms can be fixed with stents now and the, the way we do that is through a small incision in the groin. The stent is on a catheter, so we put the stent through the groin into the aneurysm and then place it through the aneurysm to uh, eliminate the possibility of it bursting and causing problems. And the benefit to that is it's done through a small incision in the groin. The time in the hospital is usually a day or two and it avoids the big chest incision which comes with it a whole list of complications that A traditional surgery opening the chest either from the front or the side you'd be in the hospital about five to seven days in most cases and along with that are a number of other complications that can occur since it's a lot more involved you know we, I, we did the first one it, it's done as a team approach with a vascular surgeon in most cases they help us with the incision and the groin and then the cardiologist or the vascular surgeon puts the graft in the chest. Well, the first one for a thoracic aneurysm, meaning in the chest, was done in the fall of 2015. But the, a similar procedure is done for abdominal aneurysms, which has been done here for a long time. The majority of these aneurysms are not of the size where they need something done, meaning surgery or a stent put in. If you have an aneurysm, it's important that it's followed, meaning a scan is done on usually a yearly basis to keep an eye on the size and to control risk factors. Your plan is best discussed with your primary doctor.